carbohydrates are synthesized through kelvin cycle in c3 plants c4 plants c3 and some c4 plants all plants we should remember here that without c3 plants i mean without kelvin cycle no carbohydrates are generated that is no glucose is generated that is glucose molecule or carbohydrates are produced only through kelvin cycle the fact is here is that whether it is a c4 plant whether it is a c3 plant kelvin cycle is compulsory in c4 plants also c3 cycle takes place in c3 plants also the c3 cycle takes place kelvin cycle is nothing but this is c3 cycle so in c4 cycle c3 cycle or kelvin cycle is present whereas in c3 cycle also the so called c3 cycle or kelvin cycle is present so we say that whatever it is plant if it is photosynthetic it may be a photosynthetic prokaryote it may be a photosynthetic eukaryote it can be multicellular it can be unicellular whatever it is if it is photosynthesis kelvin cycle is compulsory if it is photosynthesis or if it is photo synthetic organism kelvin cycle is compulsory may it be a prokaryote may it be a protist may it be a multicellular green plant or a single celled alga whatever it is kelvin cycle is compulsory so in one word we can say that in all plants carbohydrates are produced only through kelvin cycle that is in all plants carbohydrates are synthesized only through kelvin cycle without kelvin cycle they can't be produced so answer is here four that is all plants it includes not only plants as i told you it includes prokaryotes eukaryotes all photosynthetic organisms in all plants it's nothing but all photosynthetic organisms in all photosynthetic organisms the kelvin cycle is compulsory to produce the carbohydrates